side, but I wanted to share the oil paintings with you. These are oil paintings that I did um, all in one sitting. We call that a la prima. It's intended to try to catch the freshness of the moment. Um, I can tell you after six hours outside, it, oh, it doesn't always feel so fresh <laughs> at the end of it, but it's so gratifying when you feel like you've just, that the painting's finished. And so um, often I start with an underpainting that's in burnt sienna so that some of the orange goes through with that when I'm dealing with a lot of blues and greens, which I always am. So I love that orange underpainting. So these are Alla Prima um, landscapes. And I wanted to bring you in here. We will catch up with you. Just giving in a second with that. There we go. And then I have some interiors of oil paintings that are done on board. Um, and I just love catching the simplicity of an ordinary space, you know, maybe um, just whatever was there in the ordinary space. Um, and seeing light and shadow telling a story. And I just love filling shadows with all the colors that I see. Mm. Why do you leave them just with nobody in them? Oh, thank you. Um, well, that was a decision. Um, when there is no figure in a painting, it tends to invite the viewer to place themselves in the painting. Mm. Uh, when the figure is in the painting, that is the first thing your eye goes to. Mm. So without the figure, you put yourself in it. And I hope you see yourself in these places. And I want to show you one more thing. So these landscapes that you see here and on this side, they began as an ala prima painting. So I did a sweet little landscape all in one sitting, but then I took my palette knife and I scraped the whole thing off, mm. pressing it into the canvas and also scraping it off, which created more chaos, but it also, um, uh, you know, blurred all the edges and totally changed the edges of the painting. And then after that dried, I went back into it with thin layers of oil paint mixed with a glaze and um, added the color and the atmosphere. And I want to thank my good friend Chris Anderson, who is a wonderful painter, Chris Anderson Art. She taught me this technique and it really opened up atmosphere painting in um, oil painting as well as layers that you can achieve. Mm. So on this side uh, is another one of those kind of scraped off paintings. And then over here is really kind of where I am now with many layers um, and painting in lots of layers and letting them see through and um, having lots of fun with this. So I hope you enjoy these oil paintings too. Um, some of them have been with us for a while and we've loved them and I'm just really glad to be able to share them with anyone who feels so compelled. Mm -hmm. <laughs>